In this video, I want to show you how to make a small desktop hydroponics planter uh, using an ebb and flow system. I'm at IKEA and looking for some containers for my uh, hydroponics project. For example, this this is a good one. It's called Tilstula. The reason it's good is because the plastic is very sturdy. It's about three millimeters. Um, I found out after I drilled one of these. So they come with lids, but let's say um, I'm actually not using it with lids. So let's say I'll have this one. There's several different sizes, but, and this one will be a set because let me put it here. So. This one, right? And I put this one on it. Containers, and I like these because they are—they are a little more expensive. It's like a six bucks, nine bucks, I think. Uh, come comes with a, a lid, but I'm not gonna use the lid. Three millimeter thickness is what I like because that means when you poke a hole through it, it's you—you you don't really need um, you don't really need a a, a grommet, so. This will be my reservoir. I'm going to pump water up here, okay, and uh, make it an ebb and flow, um, little ebb and flow set up. And uh, the material I need is these two, okay, and this uh, is a five seven, uh, five sixteen inner diameter, seven sixteen inner di uh, outer diameter tube, which fits into this. Uh, motor. This is a small DC pump, 12 volts with a small motor in it. Full DC motor. Motor. You can also use a USB powered, I guess, 3.5 volt. Uh, for this little reservoir, it should be enough because you only need to pump about, I don't know, six inches. So, and I have a power so 12 volt power supply for it. Um, these are 5.5 millimeter plugs, uh, barrels, and I soldered it on here. I soldered the female on so I can use it. And a timer, okay, for timing uh, the, 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 the reservoir. And, and then I have a set of 3D printed uh, fittings that I designed to use for this purpose. So the first thing you do Okay, so that's the material, and um, you need a tube um, of adhesive that's uh, uh, waterproof, and uh, you need a drill that to drill half inch, half inch uh, hole to for the tubes to fall, 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 fit through. So the tube fits through a little loosely because I also need um, the wires to fit through, but. Um, any hole less than half inch should be good. Uh, larger, slightly larger than half inch should be good. So, um, all right. So, first thing you do, I want to cut a hole. Okay, I want to cut two holes, two half inch holes. Uh, one is for the drain, and the other one is for the motor to poke on. Uh, uh to the the hose to poke on here. So. Now, for the fitting, it's designed to fit in the corner, you see. So, so you can get pretty close to the corner, maybe half inch or even quarter inch from the corner should work. Um, and the, the motor though, so when you have a motor, right, something like this, well, I'm going to try to get as close to the motor as I can, so it will be like, maybe something like this. Okay, so I'm going to drill a hole here to fit the motor. Now, these tubes, they kind of tend to wiggle around. So I made this clip, right, that you can just pop it in and it will hold the tube in place. And these you will use, I'll use the RT silicone glue to glue them in, in the spot I need. But let's drill the holes. So here I have um, the holes drilled, 
in another one. The whole drill here, heavy and cheer, heavy and cheer. And uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is to glue, put a glue here um, for and let it dry to uh, for it to fit and uh, next I'm gonna get the drain fitting in so take the bottom base okay it will fit a little tight at first but it will it will you will, it will come in okay so it goes like this and now you have a little bit of a top that you can uh, fit through the top here and you also have a little corner angle here uh, clearance here so you have a little cutout and now you don't want debris to fall into the bottom okay so basically you have uh, the top is about this high and uh, any any water that the that gets any higher than this the liquid is going to fall right through to the bottom However, uh, and you can adjust the height by peeling off. This is very easy to break off, okay? You break off a little bit if you want to shorten how high the watermark you want it to be. Now, uh, and to prevent the debris from falling in and destroying your motor, you print this. Uh, when you print this, remember to print it like this way. Okay, this is the bottom, so you're, you're going to print it with some rafts in the bottom to help it stand up so it doesn't fall down during the print. Um, so put this in, and now you have a fitting that drains uh, when water is above this level. Okay, so next. Um, yeah, so this thing also needs, um, this thing also needs to glue, I also need to glue glue something here to hold uh, the, the tube so now I have one that's glued oh this is a separate one that's glued so this this tube holder is glued and that is glued. All right. This tube holder is glued, and this is glued. And I wanna um, so it goes so so it goes like this. And I'm going to make uh, make a mark for the reservoir. This is where the top of the reservoir should be. So let's see. Okay. So I, I'm making this mark so I can fill the reservoir and know that this is as high as I can fill it. And uh, next, I'm going to take my motor. Uh, so, push the pipe through and push the pipe here so it holds the motor in place. Oh, let me go, go the other way. Let's see. Okay. So, what, are, what you want to do. To make your life easier is to have this trimmed to peek out just a little bit in this case about half or three quarter of an inch right so so have this popped in here okay and now I get the top and I'm gonna thread both the holes and the cable uh, power cable through this half inch hole here. Now you can put this on. So what is this? This is uh, this is a filter that uh, ensure the water also does not drop in. Uh, nothing drops in there. So there's a filter, little filter here. But half the filter is solid, so it doesn't spray everywhere. But this is where uh, the water will come out, and uh, it won't splash everywhere. It will just come out to the side. So I designed it specifically for this uh, 
uh, for this kind of uh, placement. So pop it in here. Now I have this. And now I can pop it in to the retainer, which I glued on with silicon glue again. So that's it. And uh, next you just uh, plug this in and you'll have plug this into a timer, right? And set up your time. Usually you'll get like maybe two or three times, depends on your medium, uh, how much time you need to, to, to do the ebb and flow cycle. Okay. So let's see. Let's get some water here. Uh, we'll get some water here. Oh, let me demonstrate without the timer um, how this works. Um, it's draining slowly through this this hole, this little hole here. So uh, what happens when you have ebb and flow, you pump water on here until it hits this level. Okay, so it's going to, uh, the nutrient here is going to soak it, uh, it's going to be at this level, right, um, until you stop the motor. And once you stop the motor, this, you know, this little bit of drainage, uh, little bit of gap here will help uh, draining the the uh, draining everything back to the reservoir so it's still going to be a little bit of debris it's best that you um you you will make sure uh not a lot of things fall down in there or you have um you use a little net for a uh, little bag for the filter okay so now it's um uh, yeah no now it's now it's done. Let's take a look. Okay. So this is um This is designed this one's designed to fit um, a four inch square plant. Okay, so let me put it here. And you can see that, okay, you can see that. Um, It's draining down to the bottom after uh, the water reaches a certain level here and that's your ebb and flow system now you have a timer that puts it on a few times a day so and then after a while you stop it and then the nutrient drains all the way down so uh, this particular opening can fit, let's see, about five and a quarter inch by uh, width. And I mean, the, this is about eight and an eighth, uh, eight and a quarter inch here, but you have clearance here. So um, you can fit maybe a grow bag, uh, but it's a perfect fit for a four inch grow uh, rock wool like this one. Uh, this is uh, a basil that I just uh, grew in a, in a tube. So yeah, that's it. Have fun. Thanks for watching.